Because nobody knows Melbourne like Seven. This program is brought to you by State Bank Victoria. We never forget. It's your money. The thrilling conclusion to Shadow of the Cobra. This guy Sabraj, he's been drugging and killing travelers in Asia? Western <laughs> travelers, mostly hippies. Of course, Sabraj oh. denies he's killed anyone. Quite frankly, no one can think of a motive. There's no denying he's a villain. I mean, he's wanted by the police in 23 countries. But he's also highly intelligent. He speaks six or seven languages. He's read every book in the world. And he's busted out of jail 15 times. Oh. Paris, Athens, Delhi, Tehran, and the rest. Then he pops up in another country with a new face, a new name, a new passport. This is the story of the decade. And Stephen, I want you to write it. So do you think he could have done the murders or not? What I think doesn't matter. Well, you must have an opinion by now. You obviously do. Chris, we just started this thing. We can't have preconceived ideas about where we might end up. I'm just I concerned. Like... You'll lose your perspective if you get too close to him. Your intimacy with Shubraj puts you in an interesting position. There is the question of withholding evidence. Not to mention what you might know of his possible escape plans. Why should we not keep an eye on you? You tell me that. You say in your sworn statement that you are with Subraj when he entered the hotel with the sole intention of drugging and robbing those students. Is it not so? She only said that because the police blackmailed her. Don't let him intimidate you, darling. Tell him the truth. Tell him I only wanted to help those people. Tell them. I don't know anything about it. I saw nothing. Order, order! Maybe I can help you. I only tried to love him. I still do love him. You think he still loves you? What do you know? Huh? Stephen, I am telling you the truth. That is what I promised to do, and I'm doing it for you. Only for you. Oh, wake up to yourself, Stephen. You've been seduced. It's that simple. You want to discuss this rationally? Yeah. Let's talk about this rationally. What? The facts, Stephen, about Charles Sabrage 
Chalcebrush, the liar. Chalcebrush, the sadist. Chalcebrush, the murderer. I don't think she is the right person to help you with our book. She is far too emotional. You know, maybe Charles is right. Maybe you are too emotional for this job. You. You I can trust. You are the right person to be the biographer of Charles Sabrash. I can't help you anymore, Stephen. Whether they were drug dealers or not, and most of them weren't, there are no excuses for murder. <laughs> I saw you in Bangkok, but I didn't have a chance to speak to you. Don't touch me. I did not come all this way to touch you. Come any closer and I'll scream. What do you want? To talk to you. Bangkok's a cool place, eh? I don't know. I wasn't there very long. Long enough to meet Annie and Francois? They tell lies about us. Sabraj sent you, didn't he? Go home. Go away from here. Charles does not want you to write his book. What about Stephen? Stephen is good. Stephen is all right. Stephen will write the book with Charles. to make you angry. What's the matter? You know what's the matter. No, I do not. Tell me. I just saw AJ. AJ? He's here in Delhi? Yes. He just tried to scare me off. Stop me working on the book. So, what will you do? I don't know. You would not leave Stephen? Maybe. You don't exactly see Sabraj in the same way. You know what a horrible life Charles came from. Believe me, there is more good in him than bad. I'm sorry, I can't accept that. Excuse me. I too am sorry. What are you smiling about? Nothing, just... Charles has worked his magic again, that's all. What do you mean? You and Stephen, you love each other. And yet Charles has managed to come between even that. He's so... He controls everything. Thank you, Daniel. I think I'll stay. You might tell Sabraj that. Chris? Look, I'm sorry. I've just seen AJ. Where? In the street. He followed me from Bangkok, and he warned me to stop working on the book. What did he say exactly? You told Sabraj I went to Bangkok, didn't you? Yeah. Why? I told him you'd gone to Thailand, that's all. I don't want you talking to him about me. What are you doing? I'm moving to another hotel. What for? I'm going to work on the book on my own from now on. Well, that's great, Chris. Look, it's the middle of the night. Let's talk about this thing in the morning. Chris, where are you going to go? I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea you being alone, especially after what just happened. I'll be all right. I'll get one of the boys to help me. You gonna leave like this? See you in court tomorrow. Finish the report. Good night.
Hello? Chris. Oh, you're still here. Hello? Where are you going? To another hotel. Which one? I don't know. Do you know one? You really want to do that? Go away. Yes. I know a place. I'll take you there. to your room. We'll be fine. Thanks, Daniel. Thanks for everything. Across the road. Mm -hmm. 150,000 it went for. What? That dumb. How much? 150. Mm. What's that make us worth? Well, enough to start looking for a bigger place. Why? We've got all the room we need here. And a very nice room it is too, Graham. If you have already proved yourself with your first home loan, talk to State Bank about your second. I couldn't stand it again. Appointments with the bank manager, applications in triplicate. They just don't like parting with their money. They're not the only ones. At State Bank, we won't send you to the end of the queue. Anyone who's already done what you've done deserves better. OK. First, we'll find the house. Then we'll talk to the bank. State Bank Victoria. We never forget. It's your money. Tasty cheese ruffles are so full of flavor, no one can eat just one. Half-yearly sale at Dunklings. Some kids still don't know what salt does to you. Not to mention sugar. But if you want a great-tasting snack that's actually good for you, attack an apple. I'd probably lose my head at this sort of speed. Tuesday, Simon takes a crash course in the life-saving technology of the crash helmet and what he discovers could affect any bicycle or motorbike rider. Amanda reveals a recipe that takes scrap wood and cooks it into timber as reliable as steel. The strongest wood-based building material available. And Maxine discovers a mine that's tapping into a clean, cheap energy beneath the earth. It extracts nothing from the earth but heat. AMP presents Beyond 2000, Tuesday. Here to see Sabraj.
What's the problem? You may not enter. But I have permission to see Subraj. Permission's withdrawn. By who? Gupta? Yes, but not here. I'll meet you in the guardhouse in five minutes. I'll be there. denied permission to see Sabraj. My goodness, were you? You know damn well I was. And what's going on? You remember the conversation we had at Juro 2? Getting access to Sabraj's files? What about it? We are the only ones who have access to them. If you see what I mean. Yes? Saab Vakil Saab I. Shukriya. I'm afraid I must go. You may continue this conversation with my colleague. Mr. Carey, I understand you want access to some confidential police documents. I want to see all the transcripts of statements made under interrogation and anything else you might have from other police sources. Such as Interpol, you mean? Whatever you can get me. Ah. I see. How much? 2,000 US dollars. And for that, I retain unlimited access to Subraj. No, that will cost you more again. How much more? That's another 1,000. That's a lot of money. It's not more than you can afford, I think. And you see, we ourselves have other people to pay. There are so many hungry mouths in India, Mr. Carey. I'll have to speak to Bill Sherman in Bangkok first. Of course. In the meantime, can I continue to speak to Subraj? Provisionally, yes. But for your full and unlimited cooperation, it's going to cost me $3,000. U.S. in cash. 3000 U.S. in cash. I think I can remember that. You? Where'd you go last night? Taprabang. Where's that? Here. Silence! The court will now rise. Talk to you later. Your Honor, after consulting my colleague on the fine legal points that were raised yesterday, who believe that Why'd you have A.J. come here and frighten Chris? What are you talking about? He's here in Delhi. He followed her all the way from Bangkok. <sighs> he must have come off his own back. I didn't order him to come. Then who did? The trial? He knows nothing of that. I don't believe you. Very well,
Thanks. you did in Bangkok. And? It's good. It's very good. Really? Really. Thanks. Wow. You prefer this? So do you believe me now that he's lying? About the heroin connection? About any of it. What more do you want? I want him to tell me the truth. Stephen, he's incapable of it. He doesn't know the meaning of the word. Chris, we don't know that yet. I know it. And you basing a book on his version of the truth is ridiculous. Is that it, black and white? Look, I've got another couple of hours of work to do. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good night. If it please the court, I wish to show that the accusations linking my client, Ms. Leclerc, with the accused are... Objection! She is his co-accused. Is right, Mr. Shastri. Very well, Your Honor, but it is immaterial. The accusations are based on purely circumstantial evidence. This I will prove later. But first, I wish to show the court how she became involved with this man in the first place. This man of indubitably magnetic charm, He's a snake. Objection. He's quite obviously not a snake. <laughs> order, order. And as the court has already seen, my client is like a frightened rabbit before him. Will you please get to the point, Mr. Shastri? Miss Leclerc, I'd like you to describe your feelings when you went to Bangkok to live with Charles Showbright. Leclerc, will you please answer my question? <laughs> Miss Leclerc! Miss Leclerc! Your Honor, we're getting nowhere with this evidence unless some order is restored to this court. I agree with you, counsel. Let there be order in this court. <laughs> yes, when is he arriving? Tonight. I pick him up from the plane at six. Are you sure he'll bring the money? Yeah, sure, sure. Good. Now, I want him to meet my two friends. I want him to make a big impression, especially on Chris. Understand? Okay. I call Charles Sobraj. The prisoner will come forward. I used to think there was justice in India. Now I know there is none. Your Honor. The prisoner will confine himself to answering the prosecutor's questions. You mean persecutor? I don't care what you and your court do to me, because I don't recognize you. I am my own judge, and I judge myself innocent. Mr. Sobraj, I warn you. You must understand my distress. I spent three months in the most inhuman, barbaric conditions in jail. I understand, Mr. Sobraj. And now the prisoner will please take the witness stand. The court is able to make its own conclusions about your state of mind. You do not know my state of mind. You do not even know your own mind. Mr. Sobraj, I warn you once again. I know your mind. Yours and all the others in this room. You are not open to the truth because you're all living a lie. You're all products of a corrupt culture. But look at this pathetic imitation of a court in England, huh? Your stupid costumes. 
forms of words which mean nothing. We're all victims. Victims and slaves of the West. <laughs> and I do not understand why we continue to submit to it. So I, for one, have made a decision. I will no longer submit to it! Hundred and fifty thousand. It went for. What? That dumb. How much? Hundred and fifty. What's that make us worth? Enough to start looking for a bigger place. Why? We've got all the room we need here. And a very nice room it is too, Graham. If you have already proved yourself with your first home loan, talk to State Bank about your second. I can stand it again. Appointments with the bank manager. Applications in triplicate. They just don't like parting with their money. They're not the only ones. At State Bank, we won't send you to the end of the queue. Anyone who's already done what you've done deserves better. OK. First, we'll find the house. Then we'll talk to the bank. State Bank Victoria. We never forget. It's your money. Wheat Bix is Australia's favourite breakfast, and that's why Sanitarium believe it's so important that Wheat Bix is low in fats, has virtually no sugar, is low in salt, and is packed with complex carbohydrates and dietary fibre, all the things that doctors and nutritionists now recommend. Wheat Bix not only tastes good, it is good for you. Every morning, more Australians wake up to the goodness of good old Aussie Wheat Bix than any other breakfast cereal. It's 5 to 8, the Andrew Rose forecast in sunshine, and here's something to help get your day started. The Age. It's worth buying your own. Come on, eat your toast. No. Here then, have some milk. No. Don't you want to grow up to be big and strong? Daddy loves milk. Yes, yes he does. Daddy drinks all his milk. When did you last really taste milk? The most natural source of calcium, vitamins and minerals that's as close mm. as your fridge. Daddy's drinking all my milk. Milk. Oh. Too good to miss out on. I'll swap you for a bit of toast. Most of the time, I'm happy about the way I look. I try to watch what I eat, but that's easy with Continental Slimmer Soup. It's delicious, full-flavoured soup with croutons, but without the calories. Continental Slimmer Soup, 44 little calories that are big on taste. Nobody makes soup in a cup like Continental Slimmer Soup. Matthew Broderick is a master of computer games. We're in. And now he's found a new game to play. Shall we play a game? But on the wrong computer. What's happening? I don't know, but it's great. What the hell's happening here? Oh my god. Who are you working with? Nobody. Why don't I believe you? He's gonna start a war. Uh, is a call. Is this a game or is it real? Two. Matthew Broderick. One. Ali Sheedy. War games. Wednesday night on seven. Quite a performance. Chris, look, in your report you say Charles used amphetamines. He used them himself. Are you sure about that? Ty and Interpol have three sworn statements that he used them, among other things, regularly. When they searched his room, he had 10 kilograms of pills. Stephen. Chris. Hello, Daniel. Don't you turn up in the most unlikely places. Well, I've been waiting for you. Listen, there's someone I want you to meet. Actually, there's someone Charles wants you to meet, huh? Come. Who? Oh. Ellie. Hotel's great, Daniel. Thanks. It's okay. I feel like we're with an American couple. Come here. Come here. I would like you to meet Guy. Brother of Charles. I'm Guy Stephen Carey. Chris Royston? Hi, Chris. When do you arrive? Uh, just now, tonight. Yeah. 
Why don't we go somewhere else and talk? Sure. So you and Charles are really half-brothers? That's right. Our mother was the same, but my father was French. So, you two will write a good book about Charles, huh? And show that he was not such a bad man. They don't know yet. We haven't finished talking to him. Well, then you must keep talking to my brother until you understand that he could never do anything really bad. Never. And anyway, he is far too clever. He has no need. To my brother, Charles. To Charles. I would like to see Charles in the court. Do you think you could get me in? Should be possible, yeah. yeah. People who love Charles most, you must talk to those who have known him in jail. You were in jail with him, weren't you, in Greece? Yes, for one year. How'd the two of you end up there together? It's not so easy to explain. I was 21, still living with my mother. We hadn't heard from Charles for years and years, and suddenly he rang me and sent me some money and told me to meet him at the Hilton in Athens. Bonsoir. This is my brother Henri. Hello. Henri, this is Dee and Brad Robinson. How do you do, Henri? <laughs> nice to meet you, Henri. Uh, what would no, you like? no, not for me. No, I'm going upstairs to pack and relax. Would you you like boys a make a, a night of it. Yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Bye, honey. Here you go. Okay. Where will we go? I know a place that is very good. Oh, my God. It's all right. It's a little stomach trouble, I think. Oh, he has too much to drink. He's such a bore. Put him in the bedroom. He tried smoking Keith in Tangier. He threw up all over a duchess. Uh -huh. Talk to the one. I'll search the room. <sighs> Thanks for bringing the stupid bastard home. Would um, would you like a drink? Uh, no. Take everything. Money, jewelry, cameras, everything. Passports. Oh, and she has a mink coat in there somewhere. Is it 
passports for the PLO. The PLO? But where are you going? I have other business to attend to. Now you stay in Beirut one week, then you go to Istanbul, stay at the Alpha Hotel, I'll meet you there. Now you see Guy. With me, you'll have excitement. So what happened then? Bad luck. I went to the airport the next day to fly to Beirut, and there was the couple we had robbed. I was arrested. They tortured me until I betrayed Charles. And you know, a whole year we spent in jail together. And he never once blamed me. And so I owe him something. Oh, don't look like that, Chris. The past is the past, huh? Smile. I didn't think Charles had split until he finished talking. But now he's obviously changed his mind. You might have changed it for him. Thanks. He shines the brush the photographs of the bodies yet. Why? What would that prove? It might provoke him into saying something. It might. Tomorrow on A Country Practice. An accident places Lucy's career on the line. What, you want help? While the doctor stands aside, she makes a decision that may end her nursing. It was my decision. An action with far-reaching consequences. You do realize you can be deregistered for this. Will she have any chance to defend her decision? Gardner, you're suspended from all duties forthwith. And Terence has a close encounter. I've got a lot of thinking to do. Is this a new woman in his life? A Country Practice, tomorrow on 7. Bathroom plaque has a way of creeping up every week. But now there's a powerful way to remove it and replace it with something really refreshing. The Mistos Fresh. It clings to porcelain and removes every trace of dirt and mold, leaving a hygienic clean plus a fresh fragrance like spring in the air. So now there are two powerful ways to remove bathroom plaque. The Mistos or the Mistos Fresh. You'd like a cup of tea, come and have a cup with me Cos Lipton is the finest quality We say the way is Lipton's any time of the day Yes, the jiggler hits the spot, the jiggler's got the lot We take the smallest beans from the finest crop For you, for you and me, and me now Lipton's is the finest tea There are symbols that have achieved worldwide recognition. Some can mean hope to many. This symbol is another which receives instant worldwide recognition. It's a symbol on the American Express Traveler's Check. No other check is accepted more often worldwide. American Express Traveler's Checks. Ask for them by name at leading financial institutions. If yours doesn't carry them, go to one that does. Radiant from Cussons is outstanding value for money. You see, Radiant is not just a powder, but super strength granules. You use only half as much as ordinary powders in every wash. So Radiant lasts a lot longer than ordinary powders. Radiant from Cussons. You'll find it lasts and lasts, saving you money on every dazzling wash, week after week after week. Radiant from Cussons. Use half as much for exceptional value. Hey, Speedy, you want to go for some lunch? No. Some dinner? No. How about Pizza Hut's Mexican pizza with beef, red kidney beans, onion, tomato, capsicum, and chili sauce, topped with sour cream, olives, and crisp corn chips? Real beans? See. Si. Real Mexican sauce? See. Si. You've never tasted a pizza like our Mexican pizza. Pizza Hut, making it great. Dine in, take away, and now home delivered.
Chris, I'm really angry with you. You've been telling many bad lies about me. No, I just try to tell the truth, as far as I understand it. Why are you so paranoid about me, huh? What have I ever done to hurt you? Chris, I have an ulcer on my foot. Can you get me some papaya? It's very good for drawing out the infection. I'm very busy at the moment, Charles. Why don't you get one of your groupies to do it for you? What about AJ? I'm sure he'd love to. That's no problem. I'll get Stephen to do it. Oh, Mr. Curry. He's with me. Guy, c'est toi. Tu es venu. Bon Dieu, c'est fantastic, huh? Look, everyone. This is my little brother. He's come all the way from Paris to see me. He knows I'm innocent, huh? Hello, Steven. Charles. Got something I want to show you. What is it? Where did you get this? Doesn't matter. They're horrible. I don't want to look at them. Why do they bother you? Don't make me angry, Stephen. Charles, I need concrete evidence on the Hong Kong Chinese. You justify the murders by saying you work for them, yet there's not one shred of evidence in any of this that you had any connection with organized crime. What's wrong? Nothing. Were you and Daniel talking about yesterday? That's none of your business. Gi showing up? It all fits together, doesn't it? Can't wait any longer. Look, Charles, I don't want to talk about my life anymore. All this talking about my life, I want to live it. You really think you're just gonna walk out of here? like a fool. Don't blame Guy, Charles. Nobody knew he was your brother till you stood up in court and told the whole world about it. Chain his leg. I would like to see you in my office, Mr. Kerry, tomorrow morning at 10. Yeah, I'm 
fine. Why? I meant about today. You could have been shot or something. Actually, I was more concerned about him escaping. We haven't got a book yet. Mm, I was just about to go to bed. Want some company? No, thanks. You sure about that? Yes, thanks. put everything you have into this thing. I know how hard it's been for you. I'd have been very lonely here without you. Well, the sooner it's done, the sooner we can leave, huh? I guess I'd better go to bed, huh? I guess so. So, Mr. Carey, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Even notice, Inspector. I've only been sitting here for two hours. This is, it's been a very busy morning, and it still is. So have you spoken to your Mr. Sherman? No. Instead, told us how we can get access to all the statements, everything you offered us for nothing. I see. And what about Interpol? Chris got all that in Bangkok, also for nothing. So, Inspector, the deal is off. Deal? What do you mean, deal? Come off it. Mr. Carey, when Shobraj attempts to escape the next time, and he will, I will arrest you too for conspiracy. Why would I want him to escape? I want him right here where I can talk to him. And you expect me to continue to allow you to do that? You got no right to stop me. Unless you are one of his accomplices. That's absurd. Is it? Then perhaps you can explain to me why you are here working in Delhi on a tourist visa. What does that have to do with anything? You have made a false claim. You say tourist, and yet here you are working and consorting with thieves and murderers. And corrupt police. I beg your pardon. May I remind you again that you are a visitor in my country. You are clearly here under false pretenses, and I can have you expelled at a moment's notice. Save your breath, Inspector. You see, I've taped all our conversations. This one, the last one with Rapinda. You want to make an issue out of it? Be my guest. Do not threaten me, Mr. Carey. Otherwise, you will find yourself in very serious trouble. Day, Inspector. Good evening, Diana King for Seven Nightly News. At the moment, I'm at Treasury Place where the work care talks have just broken up and the decision is that the 24-hour planned strike will go ahead on Wednesday. Trades Hall Secretary John Halfpenny said there was little chance of talks being rescheduled with the government before Wednesday. So we now face the possibility of a massive shutdown of services. More details in Newsworld. Seven Nightly News at 6.30. Hinch at 7. Weeknights on 7. His date of birth. Um, 24th of May, um, 60, 62. Has he got private health insurance? What? Health insurance. What? Is that important? It could be. But he might want to choose his own specialist. Physios. 60 before I needed half this long. Um, I, I don't think so. Okay. Well, why don't you wait over there? Took out half these things, maybe I can afford it. I... I, am. I could afford this. I 
Mechanical. A and A. He's with A and A. Well, you don't have to worry. Really. Really. How about a bushel's coffee? You'd love one. That's great. How about a bushel's coffee? You'd love one. That's great. How about a bushel's coffee? You'd love one. That's great. Hey, Speedy, you heard about Pizza Hut's Mexican pizza with beef, red kidney beans, onion, tomato, capsicum, and chili sauce, topped with sour cream, olives, and crisp corn chips? Don't miss Pizza Hut's Mexican pizza. Pizza Hut, I'm making it great. Dine in, take away, and now home delivered. new Elite puts every luxury motoring feature at your fingertips. Electronic overdrive, steering mounted audio controls, automatic temperature control air conditioning, cruise control, power mirrors, time delay power windows, and the security of a built-in alarm system. The new Magna Elite, a masterpiece of luxury and a class of its own. Magna Elite from Mitsubishi. Would you believe I cook something this extravagant? You're saying, where does she find the time? Actually, I whipped it up in just over 30 minutes. I admit I did have help from new continental cookbook casseroles. I simply added apricots and sliced onion to fresh chicken pieces, poured in the seasoning mix and, voila, apricot chicken curry. OK, it looks great, but did they like it? Well, they didn't exactly leave it. New continental cookbook casseroles. The results speak for themselves. Has it got private health insurance? What? Health insurance. I could afford this. A I can't afford this. A &A. He's with A and A. Well, you don't have to worry. Really? Really? Hi. Hi. Do you have some shells? You have sent a message for me? No, I don't see Sabraj. Stephen does all that. I brought you all the things you asked for. Shampoo, soap, chocolate. Cigarettes? Oh, Thank you for agreeing to see me again. I know it's not easy. I have brought something for you. What is it? My diaries. I have kept them ever since I met Charles. Uh, perhaps they can help you to understand us better. Thank you very much. Well, what I feel is in these pages. All the love that Charles takes with not giving back. I am his slave. Always. And I'll wait for him to set me free. Monique, only you can set yourself free. That's what everyone says. And everyone is right. I've tried. You must believe me, I've tried everything to take this curse from my heart, but it only gets worse. No. I think I must be a very bad person and God wants to punish me. What else can it be? Yeah, I told you I could firm those rooms for two weeks. I'm sorry, sir, but there is nothing that I can do. What's the problem? Spawn says we have to leave the hotel. Gave away our rooms. That's ridiculous. The hotel's practically empty. I'm sorry, madam, but I have very big parties arriving this evening. You must leave now. Show me the written confirmation. Sir, I'm not permitted to do that. And I'm not permitted to smack you in the eye, but I'll do it anyway. Show me the book. In that case, I'll call the police and you will find new accommodations in prison. Gupta's behind us. Yeah? How do you know? They tried to bribe me and I called his bluff. I'm calling the embassy. Stephen, forget it. You can find another hotel. What are you going to do? I want to follow up some leads in Kathmandu and Kashmir. Fly to Srinagar in the morning. All right? Want some money? No, I've already spoken to Bill. So this has all been arranged? Yeah. He thinks it's a good idea. You don't need me here at the moment, do you? 
How long are you going to be gone? Not long. A few days. I'm sitting with Jules on the plane to Kashmir. And I'm so excited because it's the first time I've been outside of Canada. It's almost the first time I've been away from home. And tonight we will be in Kashmir. I don't know why, but ever since I was a little girl, I have wanted to go there. a stranger on the bus to Shrenika. I know I should not be thinking about him, but he was so handsome with some special quality that made me just want to watch him. But I don't think he even noticed me. I can't get him out of my mind. I wonder if I will see him again. But my dear sir, there are three double bedrooms, each with flushing toilet. All meals included, for rupees 500 only. It's worth at least double. But why should we pay for three bedrooms when we only want two? <laughs> Sir, it's a boat. It has three rooms. What can I do? I don't know what you can do, but we are not paying for a room that we do not want. Well, may I suggest, sir, that you save your money by sharing with some other tourist people? It's often done. A, a couple such as this, for example. Excuse me one moment. Hello, my name is Alain. Je suis Paul. Monique, Monique Leclerc. They are French. Oui. Now, are you looking for a houseboat? We are. Yeah. So what do you think? Are you interested? In what? In sharing a boat with us. Mm -hmm. I guess so. Good. Charming, fascinating man I have Both ever met. He knows so much about, about Asia, French about everything. He speaks so beautifully, he draws us all to him. My feelings are so strong and so strange. I cannot yet describe them. How long will you be in Srinagar? Three weeks. And then? Oh, we go south, and then back to Canada, back home. Hmm. Sleep? No, I can't. Uh... What's the matter? May I kiss you? If you want. Jules. Oh, he's nothing to me, Alain. It's over between us. We are friends, nothing more. But you still sleep in the same room? Yes, but we do not... We have not made love for a long time. Do you know, you are the first woman who has ever asked to kiss me.
I'm sick of this place. I'm sick of being watched day and night. I only stay because of your book. Stupid bloody book. Aren't you forgetting something? I don't think these chains will stop me, huh? Soon these chains will no longer exist. How's that? Because I'm going to escape. But this time, I'm going to escape legally. You think these charges will hold up? Attempted murder. If I want to kill someone, I kill them. Realize that's the first time you ever admitted that you kill? Hey, I'm a businessman, not a criminal. If I have killed, it has been purely a matter of business. And I never kill good people. You don't believe me? You doubt my word? So you can give me proof of what you say you've done. Yeah, I doubt your word. Proof. OK. Look on the back. Do Jenny love Henri? Henri was Jenny Hudson's grandfather. Proof. My apartment in Bangkok was a museum for my victims. There was enough proof there to hang a hundred men. And you know what happened when the police came to arrest me? I talked my way out of it. Talked my way out of it. Like I will talk my way out of here. You! Oh, you! Inspector, what is the meaning of all this? Come with me. That's what I'm saying to you. I do what I have to do and I go where I have to go and no one can stop me. I don't have to kill people to control them. Don't take your partner, do you again? Inspector, this is my girlfriend, Monique Leclerc. I asked the question. Is this you? It's not very clear. No, this is not me. And you are Alain Gordier? No, I'm not Alain. Alain is in uh, Hong Kong. My name is David Alain Gore. Uh, my passport is in the briefcase. I am a college professor. I still have a posting in Puerto Rico. But now I deal mainly in gems. Um, there's no money in it. Can we offer you some tea and sp No, stay here. Why she has two passports? No, 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 they're not the same woman. Look, the hair is different. Inspector, uh, Mademoiselle Damore is a client of mine. What's her passport doing here? Oh, she has taken some gems on approval, and she has left me a passport as security. You can't have to name her. Uh, this is uh, Monsieur Hakim's passport. He is also a client of mine and has also left this as security. Inspector, uh, it seems you were uh, expecting a big show, huh? Do you mind telling me who it is that has made this complaint against Alain? I know who it is that has made this complaint against Alain. He told me he got into some trouble with some people he sold some diamonds to. They have made this complaint. The gem business is a very dirty business, Inspector. But I'm sure we can clear this matter up in a moment or two. Oh, handcuffs, sir. I use them for security when I'm traveling with the gems. Open the safe. Uh, the safe has nothing in it, and uh, we do not have a key. This way. What do you have to say about all of these drugs? Inspector, I know nothing about drugs. But you must ask Alain's wife. She's a nurse, works at the American hospital. Petrol. Definitely. <laughs> I take his passport to check on it. Hmm? Certainly, Inspector. Shall I get you the telephone number of the American Embassy? I can do that myself. Now, I want you, all three of you, to report to Crime Suppression Headquarters at 9 in the morning. Is that clear? Perfectly clear. Oh, you're going to look up. morning, we were all on a plane to Paris.
that's what I'm saying to you. I do what I have to do, and I go where I have to go, and no one can stop me. I don't have to kill people to control them. Hey, I'm a businessman, not a criminal. If I have killed, it has been purely a matter of business. And I never killed good people. Hundred and fifty thousand it went for. What? That dumb. How much? Hundred and fifty. What's that make us worth? Enough to start looking for a bigger place. Why? We've got all the room we need here. And a very nice room it is too, Graham. If you have already proved yourself with your first home loan, talk to State Bank about your second. I can stand it again. Appointments with the bank manager. Applications in triplicate. They just don't like parting with their money. They're not the only ones. At State Bank, we won't send you to the end of the queue. Anyone who's already done what you've done deserves better. OK. First, we'll find the house. Then we'll talk to the bank. <laughs> State Bank Victoria. We never forget. It's your money. Every woman is an individual. That's why there's now a range of different Lux fragrances for every kind of skin. Nobody understands my skin the way Lux does. The Lux Collection now understands your skin even better. Hi, have you heard the news? Oh, I can't believe it's true. I couldn't wait to let you know. I just had to talk to you. You won't believe what's happened. It's almost too good to be true. The new reduced international direct dial prices from OTC have got everyone talking. You can now dial more countries off peak for 30% lower than standard rates. It doesn't cost as much to make a call. To stay in touch. OTC. Our reduced rates have got everyone talking. OTC. Hi, Han. We had your favourite. With continental seasoning mix, pork, plum jam and red peppers. Mm, pork and plum sauce. P.S. The leftovers are in the fridge. New continental cookbook casseroles. The results speak for themselves. So, two years overseas, and he thinks he can tell us how to run things. It's all right. I fix things. He's travelling overnight. And he won't have had time to incorporate those new figures I sent him in his report. He'll be tired. I've arranged for the chauffeur to bring him straight here. Good morning. Club World delivers the business traveller ready to do business. Pleasant trip. Yes, thank you. Club World, from the world's favourite airline. Tuesday night. How badly is this mate of yours hurt? Oh, not bad. Just a few abrasions. Terry knows he can trust Arthur. I've heard that before. So why should this next job be any different? Yeah, well, there are certain complications. His next client seems glad to see him. Terry here uh, is the best. Is he indeed? But that could be the problem. Oh, it's super. Minder. <laughs> all right, all right. You don't have to sit there to say whatever it is, do you? 9.30 Tuesday, only on 7. Look, uh, when we get to Delhi, I won't be able to see you again. Don't say that, Helen. I think I'm falling in love with you. Don't you feel anything? I don't know. I don't know what game you're playing. I'm not playing any kind of game. What do you mean? Look, uh, my life is very complicated at the moment. Huh? And I don't want you to talk of uh, love. To be frank, I live outside the law. I don't care. I will do anything. I just want to be with you. You'd come and live with me in Asia? Why not? <laughs> I swear I don't understand you Western women. What is there to understand? I want you. And I will go wherever you are to be with you. What are you saying? Are you saying you will leave your home? 
Come and live in the house with me. Here. Hmm? I've waited for him to love me again. Like he did in the beginning. But how long ago how impossible all my happiness seems now. Perhaps it is a sin to love so deeply. I'm not saying to him. Stephen? Jesus Christ, you scared me. What are you doing here? I'm sorry I've been such a pain in the neck. You were right, I am too emotional. Never met a murderer before. It's the only way I can ever think of him. Guess I didn't handle it too well. You know what he said to me? He said I never killed good people. I think I almost let him come between us. So do you still love me? Yes, I still love you. Good. I just wish this whole thing was all over. buys a gun. The wayward wife. Ashley. Very sorry to have kept you. Not at all. We were uh, just admiring your collection of books. Ah, yes. I collect all the mysteries. It is very helpful for my work. Trying to spot the murderer, you know. <laughs> Please. So, you two are also writing a book. Yes, ours is about Charles Sabrage. Ah. Also a great mystery. What way? Motive. Were they just thrill killings? That is the expression, isn't it? Or was there some other purpose behind it all? Perhaps you already have the answer. I wish we did. He insists that they were all drug couriers. And that oh, he was... So you have spoken to him? Yes, quite a bit. Interesting. Please, go on. That's it, really. 
They were all couriers, and he had orders from some triad in Hong Kong to kill them. The evidence is not conclusive for that. Some were involved with heroin, but some were not. Which ones can you prove were? The girl, Connie Jo, most definitely. Her friends have confirmed it. But the boyfriend, the Canadian, Carrier, definitely not. He really was just here to climb in the mountains. Who discovered the bodies? Some local villagers. First one, then two. I really was not prepared for two. I was particularly horrified, you see because this was the first time this type of murder had happened in Nepal. The girl and the man I had seen earlier had been stabbed, mutilated, and burnt. The ironic thing is, is that I had Sobraj right here in my office, and I had to let him go. It was the biggest regret of my career. After the deaths, a friend of Connie Joe's brought me Connie's notebook. In it was the name and the description of a certain Alan Gautier, who the two girls had met earlier at his hotel. I traced Gautier through his rental car firm. Victor Roth, Royal Nepalese Police. Your names and nationalities, please. Oh, my name is Enriquez Pitanja. I am Dutch. Uh... Please call me Hank. I see. Passports, please. I'm a teacher of sociology at the University of Amsterdam. Uh, this is my wife, Koki, and uh, this is my assistant. Uh, perhaps you have been to Holland and you recognize my wife. She's a very famous TV personality. Do you recognize the woman in this photograph? No, Inspector. Is she Dutch? I would like to take a small look in your car, if you please. Mr. Henk. Certainly, Inspector. Has there been some trouble? Uh, has this girl committed some sort of crime? Are these your jeans, Mr. Henk? Oh, no, Inspector. The car is a rental. They must have been here before. Really? Please, sorry, but I must ask you to remain in Kathmandu until we finish our investigations. Oh, Inspector, that is impossible. I have to be in Delhi in two days, and then I have to get back to Amsterdam. I'm sorry, but I must ask you to follow me to the police station. Just a formality. Come. Oh, well, Inspector, perhaps it is fated. I look forward to staying in your country just that little bit longer. So why did you let him go? I had not enough evidence to hold him indefinitely. I had to rely on positive identification, which Connie Joe's friend said she could provide. Take your time. But when she saw him, here in my office. He just stared straight at her, and she said she couldn't be sure. She was frightened. You see, Sabraj is such an effective criminal because he doesn't act like one. Here are all the Interpol records. Not just from here. Statements, court transcripts, everything. The complete global dossier of Charles Sobraj. Where did you get all this? Oh, I've been collecting it. It's one of my little hobbies. <laughs> what would it take to get copies of all this? You may keep it. It's yours. Inspector, this is wonderful. It would be more effective in your hands. The judicial system in countries like mine is not always best equipped to deal with a brilliant enigma like Sobraj. Your book will do a better job, I think. How many murders do you think he did? 
There is a complete list here of what I would call definite Sabraj murders. I have 13, but I'm sure the list is longer than anyone would ever know. I have another list of unsolved murders. Westerners murdered in Asia in the past two years. I'm sure some of these were done by Sabraj. My God, a couple of these happened in India. Speak to Stephen. Find him and bring him to me. Bye, Inspector. Thank you. This will be in good hands. How long do you stay? We're leaving for Delhi in the morning. This trial's ending, sir. Guilty? He's confident he's going to get away with it. Oh, nothing would surprise me. And then watch out, huh? Surprise has two categories of people. Accomplices and victims. You must be one or the other. Thanks again. Did Danielle get my note? Yes. Where is his reply? Look, I pay you a lot of money. I'll do your job. Go find Danielle and tell him to be at court tomorrow. Go! Thursday, the Fast Forward crew present their own amazing version of another well-known show, along with all the latest breaking news. How embarrassing. For the weather and sport. Uh, when you've come to the right place, right now, right here, right now, on this live show, Super Catch of Friends. The odd surprise or two. Yes, indeedy do, Donna. Plus a Pixie and Aussie Rules exclusive. Yeah, that's right. Don't miss Australia's craziest adult comedy. The fun starts 8.30 Thursday. Sounds great. Fast Forward on 7. <laughs> Chop it, brush it, bake it. Purpose. How do you brush up a plant? How do you top off a pie? Purpose. How do I salt in a casserole? Pampas as easy as pie. Purpose. How do you wrap up your beef? Purpose. How do you roll up a smile? Purpose. How do you eat to apple strudels? Pampas as easy as pie. Top it, brush it, bake it. Pampas as easy as pie. Or casserole, or strudel, or tarts, or flan. <laughs> Jeff acts on the toughest stains and cares for delicate surfaces without harsh scratching. In fact, Jeff gives a dazzling performance. It's a tough act to follow. Have you unscrabbled a prize yet at McDonald's? Craig Rigby has. He's just won a brand new Malvern Star BMX bike. There's still lots more to be won and thousands of other prizes, including Holden Novas, Continental Holidays to Disneyland, Epson Portable Computers, Samsung TVs, videos and microwaves, Scrabble sets and McDonald's food. Just collect the letters needed to complete a word on your game board or win instantly. So hurry and unscrabble a prize at McDonald's. Take a look across Australia. You'll find FAI Home, Car, Accident and Life Insurance. Wherever you go, you'll find FAI Superannuation and Workers' Compensation in action. FAI has a national reputation for competitive insurance rates and fast settlement. A fact that has made FAI one of the largest insurance groups in the country. FAI Insurance Group. Australia wide. Australia proud. There's one luxury car in Europe that's running circles around the others.
With the German Quattro all-wheel drive system, you won't find in Mercedes. And with Germany's only fully galvanized body shell, you won't find in BMW. Now Europe's largest selling prestige car has arrived. Audi. You'll find you're moving in the best of circles. How do you wrap up your beef? How do you roll up a smile? How do you use to apple strudels? Pampas as easy as top it, brush it, bake it. Pampas as easy as pie. Or casserole, or strudel, or time. This was the first time this type of murder had happened in the bar. The girl and the man I had seen earlier had been stabbed, mutilated. But you see, we have a little problem here. Yeah, Stephen mentioned something to me. I'm glad he's beginning to understand my point of view. It's about money. Oh, it's gone beyond that, Mr. Sherman. Far beyond that. Oh, really? Yes. It's now a matter of true cooperation in the spirit of the law, if you see what I mean. Well, not exactly, no. I understand Shobraj has confessed his crimes to Mr. Kerry. Is it true? Well, if he has, uh, that's Stephen's job. That's what he came here to get. And I also understand that Mr. Kerry has tapes of these confessions. Is that also true? So I must ask you for copies of these tapes. Well, I'm afraid that's impossible. Nothing is impossible. I have given you unlimited access to my prisoner, and what do I get in return? You people come here to my country. Mr. Gupta, I'm sorry, but I can't give you those tapes. But I insist that you do. Have you spoken to Stephen about this? He's been away for some days, but I assure you, when he gets back, I will. Will you do that? And I'd just like to say that apart from the ethics of this thing... Ethics? You talk about ethics. Does Shobraj have ethics, I ask you? With all due respect, Inspector, these murders have occurred in countries outside this one, outside your jurisdiction. No, no. Shobraj did murder in India, more than once, I might say, and I am going to prove it. Now do you see why I must have those tapes? Prisoners rise. Monique Claclay, although I accept mitigating circumstances in your case, on the two lesser charges of passport violation and misuse of drugs, I find you guilty as charged. On the third charge of attempted murder, I find you not guilty. I sentence you to six months imprisonment in respect of each of the charges Sentence is to be served consecutively. Could have been worse. Charles Sobraj, on the two lesser charges, I also find you guilty. In your case, however, I find no mitigating factors. Yours was a nefarious criminal act of your own device, which could easily have cost the lives of innocent young people. The fact that it did not was the purest chance. However, the prosecution has failed to show the intention to kill. And so, I must also find you not guilty on the third charge of attempted murder. I sentence you to one year in prison in respect of each of the lesser charges. 
sentence is to be served consecutively. Well done, brother. You think you are so clever, but your vanity has betrayed you as I knew it would. You see, I know all about your talks with your friend, Mr. Carey. I know that you have told the truth at last. I will get my hands on that truth and I will hang you with it. And that, Charles Chaubrage, is a promise. Good, you're here. I don't believe it. I told you they'd go easy on him. Look, don't worry about it. When the two years are up, they'll hit him with another charge. He won't be here in two years. Look, Bill, what do you say you buy us some lunch, huh? Uh, can we make that drinks? A couple of things I have to do first. Meet me at the Swiss Hotel at five, yeah? Steve, keep those tapes in a safe place. I will. your idea of a job, Bill. It's not very funny. Oh, no offense. I just thought, uh, considering the verdict, that... about this bloody book. I want to cancel the whole thing. It's all off. I no longer give my permission. Hey, just slow down. You can't just call it off. It's too late. We have a deal. There is no deal. I'll give you your money back, whatever you want. It's not as simple as that, Charles. You can't just call it off and give the money back. I've signed a contract with a publisher. They've paid me money. I've paid Stephen some money. I know. You have paid Stephen a lot of money. And he has betrayed my trust. Chris, she betrayed my trust a long time ago. But they lied to me, Bill. They lied to you. Our contract is null and void. Sorry, Charles, I can't help you. I can't stop them. Don't put me in a corner, Bill. Don't force me to do things that we will all regret. Now, just a minute. What's the real problem here, Charles? I want the tapes. I said some things. I made up stories. I don't know what I said. You understand? I'm hearing it, Charles. Good. So we are agreed. I'll see what I can do. No! Not see what you can do. You will do exactly as I ask. Bring me those tapes. Wednesday. I'm off to the library. Coming, Nudge? I've already got a book. It's Nudge the Book Lover. You have? Yeah, it's great. I got it when I was 12. What's it about? I don't know. I haven't read it yet. And Betty Big Brains. I don't want to hear about your bus ride to work, and I don't want to hear about the brick wall that fell on your head when you were three. What do you know about that? And on Family Ties, will Dad trust his little girl alone with her boyfriend? All right. Australia's best love comedy double is Hey Dad and Family Ties. Don't miss the fun. Wednesdays from 7.30 on 7. So good in your cakes and your biscuits. So good. So good in your puddings and pies. So good. So good on your cereal. So, so good, good as a drink. So good. good here's the reason why. So good is so good. No cholesterol, no lactose. Now that's enough for reason to try sanitarium. So good. Devondale country. Hello, dear. Like to taste some Devondale country? Devondale, yes, the best cheese in the country. Mild, 
vintage and tasty. Australian Colby, too. Mmm. Tastes sort of different, doesn't it? Yeah, you can taste the Devondale country, can't you? Devondale. The country cheese that's come to town. Hi, mate. You booked a plane ticket for the LA conference yet? No. Why? Thought you might be interested in this. What is it? It's an offer from Continental. They're throwing in a couple of free nights accommodation in Hawaii with business class travel. Yeah? So? Well, we thought it'd be fun to spend the weekend there on the way back. Coming? No. I don't believe in mixing business with pleasure. Sarah, did you book my ticket for the conference on Continental? Fly Continental Business Class to the US for two free nights at the Royal Hawaiian. That's why there's now a range of different Lux fragrances for every kind of skin. Nobody understands my skin the way Lux does. The Lux Collection now understands your skin even better. One, two, three, four. It's the five, most frightening moment six. in a deadly plot. I invited you around here to set up the circumstances of your own death. Two men who play games. You should have killed me! Lethal games. Ah! You're talking of a murder! I'm killing a real man! Michael Caine. Lawrence Olivia. I hate you. Sharp presents the most famous thriller of the decade. Young man! Sleuth, Saturday, 8.30 on 7. Sorry, I'm late. Been trying to get organised on a plane out of here. When are you going? Tomorrow morning, thank God. Why, had enough? I certainly have. How much longer do you two need to be here? We thought we'd leave in a couple of days. I want to see Monique again. Look, she sent me this note today. Stephen, do you have the tapes with you? Yeah, why? I want to take them with me out of the country. Why? What's the problem? Gupta. He wants those tapes real bad. I can handle Gupta. I know you can. It's just that I don't want to take any chances at the stage, that's all. Will you give them to me? No, Bill. We can't do that, Bill. Stephen, what if you find yourself... Bill, I've gone over all the what-ifs a thousand times. Someone else gets their hands on those tapes, there goes our exclusive story. Exactly. Well, I think I'm in a better position to hang on to them, that's all. Why? They're just as likely to search you at the airport as us. We'll take the tapes, Bill. We've got this far, we're not gonna blow it now. Say we get some D. You all right? Oh, I just want to go home. It won't be long, I promise. Sure. I stopped by a hotel to see you, and then I thought you might be here. So, we'll both be going back to civilization soon, huh? Yep, as soon as possible. Ah, food. I am starving. Will you see Charles again? Yeah, I thought I might say goodbye to him tomorrow. I wonder, would you give something to Charles for me? It's very hard for me to see give him. Give him what? What is it? It's vitamins. Vitamins? I don't feel like giving him vitamins. I feel like giving him a large dose of laxatives. Why don't you have Daniel give them to him? I can't find him anywhere. He's not around. I'm mad. Me, I think. Give this to Charles, please. Well, well, well. Such a mess. 
On your feet also, Mr. Kelly. Why? This is not the time to ask questions. You do as I tell you. I want those tapes, Mr. Carey. Including the ones of our last conversation, Inspector? You and Miss Royston have 24 hours to leave India. Your visas are no longer valid. You are coming with us. You have no right to do this. I came here just to see my brother, and now I'm leaving. Ten thousand dollars here. Break out money. What are we going to do with it? We could keep it. We could not. And we're not giving it to Sabraj either. We'll have to give it to the police. Right, and end up in jail for conspiracy. Charles isn't going to be very happy when he hears about this. Don't worry about him. Worry about us. I am. Accomplices or victims, not much of a choice. You must also give me back the tapes which Bill has promised. Give these things to AJ. Your lives are in danger. Charles. You tell Charles I don't do business in the middle of the night. I'll see him at the jail in the morning. What did you say? I'm going to see Monique. I thought I'd go early. Why don't you pack and we can get out of here? That's a good idea. See you at 11. Be careful. I will. What do you want? Where? All right, but I gotta do something first. Make it a 10. to say goodbye. They are sending me home. Back to Canada? That's wonderful. 
What about the charges? What about the... Yeah, I know, but God has other plans for me now. It is almost a relief. I realize now that I am only a burden for Charles. You understand me? I feel I am nothing. It's not true. Chris, I am not so innocent. I knew what was going on. We must all pay the price for what we do. And this time has come for me to pay the price. I am not afraid. I don't understand. I have cancer, Chris. I have six months. It is OK. I am prepared. I have made my peace with God. There will be no more sadness for me here. And dream he loves me. for the basketball event of the decade. Kareem's All-Stars versus the Australian Boomers, 11.15 tonight. Only on Seven Stars. For a versatile 35mm camera system, you'd need to get a big case of equipment, something like this. Or you could get a Ricoh Mirai, a complete SLR camera system in one neat package. A power zoom lens from 35 to 135mm, autofocus, exposure, flash, digital program readout, and of course, manual program shift. The Ricoh Mirai. For the first time, a complete SLR package in a camera, not a case. Spaghetti sauces are made from the finest natural ingredients, deliciously blended to create the natural taste of a great spaghetti sauce. With plump tomatoes, the finest herbs. That's Dolmio. We put the good things in, so you'll wear the Dolmio grin. Super Sandwich Maker is my family's favourite. They love the taste, and I'm happy because it's full of natural goodness they need. Do you know why your dentist scrapes tartar buildup off your teeth? Because it's important for the health of your teeth and gums. Tartar forms on teeth near the gums. Tartar also harbours plaque, which can cause gum problems. Only your dentist can remove tartar. And only one toothpaste can help stop it coming back. Colgate Tartar Control, the only toothpaste that really works to fight tartar between visits to your dentist. For a healthier mouth, shouldn't you also use Colgate Tartar Control? So, two years overseas, and he thinks he can tell us how to run things. It's all right. I fix things. He's traveling overnight. And he won't have had time to incorporate those new figures I sent him in his report. He'll be tired. I've arranged for the chauffeur to bring him straight here. Good morning. Club World delivers the business traveller ready to do business. Pleasant trip. Yes, thank you. Club World, from the world's favourite airline. Next on Hinch. Kevin never wanted to shoot the woman. In 1970, Kevin Crump was described as a depraved animal, a vicious monster. Crump, now a born-again Christian, wants to be let out of jail to marry this woman. 
If he is released, we praise the Lord. Loving a killer, next on Hinge. Stephen, I'm sorry about the money last night. I... What the hell do you think you were doing? But if they'd found it on me, you see, I knew they would never search Chris. Please, don't be angry with me. I meant you no harm, I swear. It's only because I am so frightened. What did you tell the police? I told them nothing. They questioned me for four hours, but I told them nothing. And then they showed me the murder photographs and many other things. Is it true, Stephen? Do you think he did those killings? What do you think? I think my brother Charles has gone over to the devil. When's he gonna break out of jail, Guy? I don't know. I don't know. I know only it's not so easy for him now. You have bought the money? Thank you, Stephen. And please, for both your sakes, you must leave Delhi now. Sending her back to Canada. She's got cancer. She's dying. Did you get rid of the money? Yeah, give it back to Guy. How will he get it to Sabraj? He's not going to give it to him. What the hell are you doing here? I knew you were leaving, and now I have seen what I. I wanted never to believe. I had to know the truth, you know? Stephen, where did you get this? Nepal police, if it's any of your business. He has confessed to any of these? No. Not Aaron Leibowitz? No, what's your point? Because I know he killed him. How do you know that? Because of this. Leibowitz's passport. Look at the photograph. Where did you get this? I was with Charles in Varanasi when we met this man. Then Charles went off with him for a couple of days. When he came back, alone, he gave me the man's passport and asked me to look after it for him. This is now one of the passports I have for Charles' escape. Why did he kill them, Daniel? The monks tell a story. A scorpion wanted to cross a flooded river, and he asked the frog to carry him on his back. But if I do that, the frog said, you will sting me and I will die. Oh, no, 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 said the scorpion. Why should I do that? So the frog agreed, and halfway across the river, the scorpion stung the frog, and it started to die. And as they were both drowning, you know, the frog, he couldn't understand. But why? You even kill yourself. And the scorpion said, but it is my nature. Now you must get out of Delhi. It is not safe for you here anymore. Daniel. Take it. Now you keep it, Stephen. That could hang Sabraj. I know. Let's get out of here. Wait for us here. Yes, sir. I wish you wouldn't do this. I want to hear what he has to say for himself. I'm more worried about what he might do. What's he going to do to me in a prison? Be okay.
with me, Mr. Carey. Say goodbye. Good. Just leave my money and the tapes and go. You can't have them. You promised to bring them to me? I never said that. I told AJ I'd see you here this morning. Nothing else. I'm not one of your messengers, Charles. I trusted you, Stephen. I trusted Guy. He ripped me off, my own brother. He will leave India with my money? Why, you all lied to me. I never lied to you. Bill said he promised he would get the tapes from you and bring them to me. He never told me that. Besides, why'd you change your mind? I gave you my word I'd never use those tapes against you. That's good. So if you don't plan to use the tapes against me, give them back. Need them to write the book. I no longer agree to the book. I don't want you to write the book. Forget it. I can't do that, Charles, and I won't. Who do you think you are, Stephen? What gives you the right to decide about my life? What gives you the right to think you can murder? Who the hell are you to decide who lives and who dies? It was a job! I have told you! I was forced to do Charles, those cleanings! all lies! And Hong Kong stories phony from top to bottom. You know, I came here this morning hoping you'd give me some sign, some... Some small sign that you're a human being. But you're incapable of that. The only thing you know is hate. You don't know how to feel sorry for what you've done, let alone stop doing it. You're a psychopath, Charles. I feel sorry for you. And we are going to write the book. We, oui, Stephen? We? Oui. Open the gates. All right, how much? All right, here. Here. It's all I got. Open the gate. Charles has another plan, eh? RJ. Charles is gone. Come on. Get in the car. Come on. Come on, don't get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. Start the car.
way to hospital. You must go straight to the airport. No, we're gonna find you a hospital first. We'll make the airport. Search the bags. You won't find anything. The tapes left the country this morning with Bill Sherman. In that case, you will remain here as my guest until they are returned. I gave Bill Sherman instructions to release the tapes of our conversations to every newspaper in Bangkok, if that's the case. Why do you do this? You know the man is a murderer. Do you want him to go free and kill again? He never confessed to any of the murders in India. Those tapes are of no concern to you. And how do you know he murdered in India? Some of your unsolved murders, Inspector. Where did you get this? Can you link Sabraj to any of those murders? No. Aaron Leibowitz. Can you link him? No. Recognize the face? Goodbye, Inspector. What? That's for not telling me about the tapes. But I was right, wasn't I? Yes, I think you're brilliant. This Wednesday, join Matthew Broderick and Ali Sheedy in the nail-biting thriller, War Games. When a young computer whiz taps into the government missile system, he thinks that global thermonuclear warfare is a new video game. He couldn't be further from the truth. It's a race against the clock to save the world from destruction. War Games, riveting suspense, 8.30 Wednesday on 7. Hi, this is Bert Newton. On the show tomorrow, John Halfpenny, Smokey Dawson, actor George Lazenby, The Village People, and Mrs. Marsh. The fun begins at 12 noon tomorrow on 7.
This program was brought to you by the Sim